Easter is just days away and the anxiety of hosting during a holiday is mounting, but have no fear. Lauren and Troy have some easy at home Easter brunch tips to make sure the meal goes smoothly. You're both with Chef Jordan. Yeah, Chris, uh, the food smells so good. I think we're a little distracted mm, by yeah. how good it smells and looks. And Chef Jordan, you're going to walk us through everything you brought here today, right? Yeah, so I brought here a couple dishes from Park, just to kind of focus on the things that we do there, mm -hmm. but also talk about something that we can do for brunch. Mm. So one of the things that makes brunch easy for you if you're hosting is kind of thinking about mise en place, which in chef terms in French, that means everything in its place. And so what we've done is we've taken our diced all of our, all, mm. all of our vegetables, pre-cooked yeah. some things, diced our brioche. We've made that and then we've cooked it and then we've got it set for overnight so that we can put a lovely wow. egg dish so together. So this makes this. This yeah, makes this. The okay. key is to do it in advance, you say, so that you don't have the stress on Easter Sunday. You can yeah. first. Yeah, so okay, if, okay, if okay. you're hosting an event, the most important thing is for you to be able to spend time with your guests. Okay. So okay. as much as you can do ahead of time and be ready to go and then just throw it in the oven in the morning and so you can spend time with your guests is great. What makes it so hard? You know, Easter is stressful because, you know, you have the big family over, you have the Easter egg hunts, mm -hmm. you have the food to prepare. Why do we put so much pressure on ourselves to make it so perfect? We can make it so much easier by just planning. Yeah. Or, of course, you can end up in a restaurant like yeah. ours at Park, Park <laughs> right in the middle of downtown Detroit, or any of the other Alaya Group restaurants, like 220 Merrill in Birmingham, or, you know, Come down and see us at Zuzu yeah. in, for uh, Easter evening. And okay, Lauren, you is... said you come here all oh together all gosh, the time. Oh my Park. I adore yeah. you guys. And this is really, it. really yummy. Okay, so what about, this is on the savory side. Do you have any sweet dishes in mind, too, for brunch that people can do at home really easy? Yeah. Easy? You know, make your batters for your pancakes ahead of time. You can do something like this very similar and create a French toast bake. Mm. So you can you can kind of take these similar concepts, execute them in different ways, incorporate your own flavors. Something like this where you're baking it with mm -hmm. the brioche, with the vegetables. Clean out your it. clean out your refrigerator okay. a little bit and use those springtime vegetables that you've got coming in. Mm. Turn them into something great that your guests will enjoy. This almost tastes like stuffing or it, dressing to yeah. me for Thanksgiving, doesn't it? it yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm. Well, All and the flavors. We, we can do a whole lot more, and we do a whole lot more at the restaurant so that we kind of take some of that stress off of you and let you relax, enjoy, come fun, come enjoy a curated experience in the restaurant or have a restaurant-like experience at home with some of these simple tips. All right, and so Chef Jordan, for those who may not want to cook and they want to go out for Easter, <laughs> what do they need to do to make a reservation? Are you guys still taking them? Yeah, absolutely. Come visit us at parkdetroit.com. Call any of the restaurants. We're here to take your reservations. And if we can't get you in for brunch on Easter, we're going to make sure that we can get you in sometime soon so that you can enjoy the best of downtown Detroit, which is what Campus Marshes offers. Mm, can't love wait it, to go. I love it. Thank you so much, Chef mm -hmm. Jordan.